I had a comment on a video I did about oil coming out when it's recovered in liquid form from a refrigeration system and it going into the uh, recovery cylinder. And how I did this to demonstrate what I demonstrated was I took a cylinder that I had been using for a number of recovery operations. I opened, I turned it upside down and opened the valve to dump any oil that could be in it out. Then I recovered a system and uh, I recovered three quarters of it by uh, liquid and one quarter by gas. Then I put all gas back into it out of this cylinder. So that should have left the oil that was recovered with the liquid in the cylinder. Okay, so I demonstrated I didn't see any oil come out. I put it upside down like this, no oil came out. I had a comment that said, well, there's two dip tubes in this. Now you got this liquid and gas valve. One of us dip tube that goes very bottom of the uh, cylinder, uh, or at least really close to it. And the other one is on the top of the cylinder. Well, if I turn it upside down, the one that would be liquid be, would be gas, the one that would be gas be liquid. And I figured I would get a more accurate read. So he thought there was a second dip tube for the gas portion of the refrigerant and that I probably wouldn't get any oil out. So I decided to test that. Now I've already loosened this. Not enough, obviously. And I've placed something under it. Okay, the valve's out. And you can see, if you look close at this valve, there is only one dip tube. The only possible uh, thing that could hold it back oil would be this uh, the depth of the threads of this valve. Okay, so I pulled the valve out. Now this cylinder has been used for about 30 recoveries. And you notice I'm not getting anything out of it. I can even stick my finger in there. It's flat as can be. There's a little bit of oil in there, but there's not enough to come out. There's no lip around the inside or anything. So, no oil's coming out. In fact, I've looked inside this thing with a flashlight. For those 30 or so recoveries, I've got probably uh, maybe a half a teaspoon of oil. I'm not saying that oil doesn't come out with these systems with liquid, that oil has to travel through the system, but I think a lot of people overstate it. And they believe that they take out massive amounts of oil every time they remove it. I get a lot of questions about, well, gee whiz, how much oil do you remove? You're going to destroy the compressor because there's not enough oil in there. Uh, 30 recoveries, and I've got half a teaspoon of oil kind of coat in the outside of this. It really has not, that really hasn't happened. Now, I will say, and I'm gonna do this, the same test on uh, a scroll compressor because they tend to pump a little more oil, but I don't think I'm gonna find anything and there was nothing in this thing. Even with removing the valve. So, that's it on that one.